Hi, so I'm Jonathan Allen from searchenginewatch.com and I'm with Mark Lister from imano.com and Howard Ogden from Mobilistar. And we've just uh, finished up the augmented reality session at SES London 2011. And the kind of, the news on the street is um, iPhone 5 might have near field communication and Android Gingerbread has just um, put in near field communication support. So can you tell us a bit about what it is and sure. where you see it going? We're, we're, I think we're, we're both app developers, so we're both excited by you know, developments in technology. Near field communication offers us this idea of the, you know, the phone as a, as a payment provider, a secure entry pass that carry a lot of your own data. So it's filled with possibilities. Um, hopefully it's going to be this week we'll find out if the iPhone 5 is going to be carrying those features, so it's not certain yet. But the Samsung Galaxy on Android is doing that already and we're currently building an app where we're going to unlock that capacity just to be the first to say, you know, I checked my phone in, it worked like an Oyster card and it unlocked some content or validated who I was or that, that kind of notion. So there's a tremendous opportunity out there as it comes along and we're kind of getting ready for it. Nice. Uh, Mark, do you think uh, your uh, nearest tube app could be uh, augmented with an NFC capability to use it as an Oyster? Right, well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? We, we, I feel we need some buy-in from the, uh, mm. the transport authorities before mm. we get into that, won't we? But we, yeah, I mean, obviously, the, marrying those kind of technologies together is the kind of place to start with it, I guess, isn't it? Stuff that's already out there, how could it be unlocked? Well, and that's an interesting point, you know, um, search marketers have to deal with uh, conversion on from search, you know, making the whole website payment experience very fluid and you know what's happening with mobile is it's becoming even more sort of friction free yeah it so. has been quite um difficult to do the payment process on on uh, on android i mean iphone's got a good a good shopping experience with the apps app store but android struggled in that so i'm not surprised that they embraced nfc first and the yeah it's a, it's going to be smooth smoothly linked in now for for people to make payments instantly and there's a lot of predictions that that, that um, mobile phones will replace your wallet so there's this notion of course uh, some popularity that apple are waiting just till they've got it right they've got this incredible reach with the uh, with the itunes library they have all your data you buy things on the fly at a moment's notice because you're used to doing it everyone's used to doing it and, and I, I read this statement that you know if they get this right they move from being the biggest tech company in the world to being the biggest company in the world if they're in control of all our money it comes with a few uh, elements of worry i suppose and privacy and all of that stuff but it's an incredible opportunity for them to make use of the payment platform they already have wow so i mean what's is it about now um, <laughs> when's the time for like marketers to start thinking about ar i mean you know, most people here, I guess, are focusing on search and social. Do they need to be starting to kind of brainstorm AR ideas? Absolutely. They're, they're missing the boat if they hang about any longer. Um, uh, every new week, something comes out that changes the traditional way of looking at SEO, you know, predictive search. People are getting to what they need much faster, and it's, it doesn't matter to them where they're doing it, on a, you know, on a PC or on their phone. So they, they're getting to where they want much quicker through filtering, personalization of content. It's that notion that you've got to be there with serving the content relevant once they've made that choice, I think, rather than, and there's much greater re returns to be had if you get that right. Yeah. Have you got any thoughts on that? Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what I, kind I of... I forgot the question. The question, was, <laughs> <laughs> the question was, you know, what? when do people need to start thinking about oh, last uh, you week, know, using last week, AR absolutely. in their campaigns? I mean, I get um, marketing agencies call me up all the time, every week, uh, Last year, I had 400 inquiries about AR apps, uh, just as a single guy starting up doing AR development. And this year is already surpassing that. And there's big brands and there's big companies behind AR now. Like I mentioned in my Prezo, Google are going to do something, Apple are going to do something, chip manufacturers are already doing something, Qualcomm, Intel, they're all, they're all looking at mobile AR. It is going to be a big thing. So, and as as we both mentioned in the presentation, with the last quarter, with the mobile and smartphone now shipping more than than PCs and the collective workstations, that's it. We're in the mobile future already. You know, yeah. they're on yeah. the decline. We're all free and you know using these phones to do things. So, those marketers better be there. And Google's obviously a mobile first strategy now, which is. Uh, the right strategy. I mean, as you can see from the Android rollout, they've they've achieved dominance in a market pretty quickly, or not dominance, but a huge market share. And having worked with and listened to and watched Google very closely, I know that they're 
they're, they're going to do something very soon. Um, so this time next year, as I said, I think we'll be talking about Google's implementation of AR, how we can use it to, to for how search marketers can use it to um, promote local, lo hyper-local content. So, okay. And last question, where do you see uh, the budget for AR coming from? Is it going to come from the search budget or the display budget or the PR budget? In many ways, I don't really care where it comes <laughs> from. That's an obvious statement. Um, those guys have got to make, a, make, you know, make that decision themselves. We'll approach all of them and try and put a good case for why it should be them. And we'll see who jumps first, I guess. Uh, marketing budgets is where I see a lot of it coming from um, because they see it as a, a marketing tool at the moment, AR, rather than something useful by which they could gain revenue. I think that will change. Um, it, it, and the, but the vast majority is the, from the marketing budgets of, of brands at the moment. The big thing about that, of course, is the uh, analytics that you get through these mobile apps means you can measure so accurately where your money's being spent and measure those returns. So it's an incredibly uh, powerful way of doing it. So wow, for, interesting. for the real estate app I've got in Holland for Funder Real Estate, that's generating a thousand leads, a thousand calls to real estate agents per month which is pretty good they've got a return on investment for their app that's for sure cool okay well howard mark thanks a lot cheers jonathan